On December 17, 2009, the Next Generation Air Transportation System, or NextGen, took a bold step forward in the Gulf of Mexico. We have launched the initial operations for satellite surveillance in an area that's really of, of critical importance to the nation. And with this technology, uh, Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, ADSB, uh, we have done two things. We have increased efficiency and safety in one fell swoop. FAA Administrator Randy Babbitt made the historic announcement during a January press event at Houston Center. Historic because until now, due to the absence of offshore radar coverage, controllers have never before been able to see air traffic over the Gulf of Mexico. They've had to rely on estimated or reported positions and secondhand communication from dispatchers to guide aircraft safely through the Gulf during poor weather or other low visibility conditions. Such conditions require pilots to fly under instrument flight rules, or IFR, meaning they have to rely on their instruments and controller instructions to navigate. Airspace over the Gulf of Mexico is extremely active. The Gulf is home to roughly 3,800 oil and natural gas platforms. On any given day, 5,000 to 9,000 helicopter flights Ferry equipment, supplies, and upwards of 10,000 people between those platforms and the shore. In the past, under IFR conditions, airspace over the Gulf would be broken down into a series of 20 mile by 20 mile squares on a virtual grid. Only one helicopter would be allowed to operate at a time in any given grid square. Due to a lack of long range voice communications, pilots would have to relay position information through their communication centers to controllers at Houston Center. Bad weather could often mean crippling delays, which could hamper efforts to evacuate platforms in the face of approaching weather systems, including hurricanes. But ADSB, one of the six next-gen transformational programs, changes all of that. ADSB combines GPS positioning data, the same kind you use in your car, with aircraft identification and altitude information. Avionics then broadcast that data to a network of ground stations that relay the aircraft's ID and precise position to controllers as well as other properly equipped aircraft flying in the area. Thanks to the ground stations that have been strategically deployed on oil and natural gas platforms throughout the Gulf, controllers can now see the exact position of ADSB equipped helicopters which show up on their scopes just like radar targets. The uh, difference is that we have actually had the helicopters file a uh, alpha character at the end of their call sign. That way the controllers can look at the scope and readily see that that aircraft is ADSB equipped and know how to handle that aircraft. I had the good fortune of being the first pilot in our company uh, to go IFR under ADSB and it was fantastic, you know, having them say passing through 1500 feet, 160 miles offshore saying radar contact proceed direct. It was a great feeling. Now, rather than having to follow predetermined grid routes, Pilots of properly equipped aircraft can fly directly to their platforms with only five miles of separation between them. Significant improvements are in store for high altitude commercial traffic over the Gulf as well, as five mile separation as opposed to the current 120 mile separation will be possible for properly equipped aircraft. But the benefits of the ADSB deployment in the Gulf go well beyond surveillance. Along with the ground stations, the FAA has installed VHF radio equipment that allows pilots over the Gulf to talk directly with controllers at Houston Center. They've also installed weather sensors that can provide pilots with up-to-the-minute weather information at their destination platforms. The Gulf of Mexico is actually the second location to achieve IOC for ADSB. Louisville, Kentucky went online this past fall. ADSB IOC is expected in February in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. By the time Juneau, Alaska comes online in April, ADSB will have been successfully integrated into all air traffic control automation platforms. All four sites are expected to be commissioned in September. The nationwide build out of ADSB ground stations is expected to be completed in 2013. From Houston Center in Houston, Texas, I'm Bill Gordon.